the very lot and living in my hometown for time and ministering in the neighbouring parish uh, somewhere all the road. I'm a mature candidate to the priesthood, having lost my wife Liz to cancer in December 2008. My study left the political grade college in Rome as I became a priest in my hometown of the Carrington in 2014. After the death of our two young children in the 1970s, I spent a number of years in darkness questioning and anger. And during those years, Liz was the light, the energy, and the optimism in my life. Liz had a deep and unshakable faith, and I retained a tenuous connection to my Christian faith by walking alongside Liz in her faith journey. In parallel, I tried to reason my way to the apparent chaos, chaos that surrounded me by trying to discover if there was order or reason or intelligence behind the origin of the universe. I did this by extensive reading in science, philosophy and religion, from quantum physics to cosmology and everything in between. Did my children exist in another dimension? And if so, I want to know about I want to know all I could. I read the three subjects concurrently, science, philosophy and religion, so I wouldn't go down any fundamentalist path to try and take the broadest perspective that I could. In the combination of the results of my searching and Liz's daily example of a faithful life eventually brought me to the unquestionable reality of the existence of a creative intelligence behind the origin and operation of the universe. And without the slightest doubt that this is the divine intelligence revealed in the Bible. This opened the path for me to begin my journey to walk alongside Liz in her faith and journey more fully. And with Liz as my example and guide in my spiritual life, especially the accepted with God's will as an essential part of my journey to life progressively developed. I began to realize how frequently and easily we got out God's words in our 